So you're here because you want to know how to append data from multiple files in a folder into one Excel file. If that's what you want, this is the right place. So what do I mean by that? Well, have a quick look here. I've got a, a test, sorry, a files folder just here. And in my files folder, I've got what, 2019 accounts or sales in 2020, 2021. So these files here, I need to bring together. Now, if I just open one of them, let's take the 2020. If I just open that up, so you can have a quick look at it just to see. So you can see there's nothing special with the data. I've got date, I've got the customer, the item that they've bought, how much it was, and the different quantities with the total. I haven't put this in a table or anything like that. And the idea is if somebody wants to go back and add or update or change this information or add a new year, then it will automatically be brought together, will be appended to the file that we're going to create. So in order to append multiple files that are in a single folder into one file in Excel, I'm going to use the Power Query. Let's just show you how this works. So I'm in a blank Excel file, Workbook 1, and I've got my files underneath just here. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to click on Data at the top. So click on Data and then click on Get Data. I'm going to go down to From File and then down to From Folder and click on From Folder. Now I need to select the files I want to append. So the folder, all the files are in the particular folder called files here. And then I'm going to click on open. Here are my three files that I can see. What I'm just going to do is click on combine just down at the bottom and choose combine and transform data. So now I need to select a template file, i.e. the file that I want to use as the basis for combining or appending all of the other files. So you can see the sample file here, it's selected is the first file, which is the 2019 accounts file. So what I'm going to do that is absolutely fine. I'm going to choose sheet one. So then it'll have a quick look at this sheet here. That looks good. I do have extra columns that I do not need and I'll deal with them later. But for the time being, let's click on OK. Our files have been loaded up into Power Query. You can see at the top the names of the column headers that I want to import. So first thing I'm going to do is select what I need to import. I've got extra information to the right that I want to get rid of. Well, the easiest way to do that is by selecting Date, holding down the Shift key, and then clicking on Total. And there I've selected the six columns that I want to append um, within each, each file. I'm then going to right click and go down to and choose remove other columns to get rid of those extra columns I don't need. The next thing I need to do is make sure that the data types are correct. Now the data types can be accessed to the left of each of the um, column header names. So date is fine, customer is fine, item is fine, text date date or date text text. Price is come up as a number. I'm going to change that to currency by clicking on the data type menu on the left and going down to inch checking currency. Uh, quantity is fine and total I'm going to change to currency as well. So there's no errors at the top. If there's anything in red, there's a problem and you might have to look at your original data. Most likely at this stage, it's a formatting issue, i.e. you've put something in the date column that's not a date or in a, in a, in a quantity column that's not a number. So now I'm going to click on close and load and close and load two. I'm going to choose table and then click on OK. And now, let me just maximize this window here. I can see all of the data from the sheets just, just here, okay? Uh, if I click on the drop-down list for date, just to prove the point, you can see I've got data from 2021, 2020, and 2019 over here on the left-hand side. So the data has all been appended. But I know what you're asking. What happens if 2022 accounts are added to that folder. So let's do that, shall we? So if we go back to our folder here, and we're in our files folder, I'm just gonna hold down the control key and drag a duplicate of that last accounts uh, file up, and it's come up test copy. Well, I don't want that. So first thing I'm just gonna do is just rename this 2022, and let's get rid of the word test and copy. 
Let's go into 2022 accounts and just update the year just to prove absolutely that it's going to, um, it's going to work. Now let's just make an update. So I'm just going to select column A and then just choose a find and replace to update the year. So let's go to replace, look for 2021 and update it with 2022 and replace all. And we can see that there's 999 replacements. The file should be saved as it's on OneDrive. I'm going to close this down. And now all I need to do, you see I've got a new tab at the top because I've started to use Power Query to append all of these files, these multiple Excel files in a folder. So if I choose Query up here and then click on Refresh, wait for the query to refresh with the new data. And now if I click on the drop down list for dates, you can see it's included 2022. So there you go. That's how you append multiple files in a folder into one Excel file. So if you subscribe to this channel, brilliant. If not, then click on the subscribe button and click on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. If you've got anything out of this, this uh, Excel tutorial, then just give us a thumbs up. Really means a lot. Make sure you look out for our interview. That's right, we've got an interview with a chartered certified accountant asking questions, many questions that everybody running small businesses or side hustles or whatever might want to ask. So make sure you look out for that. So thanks for watching. Look out for you next time.